Question number four. So question number four wants us to solve and graph the inequality. So when we're solving this, guys, the aim is to get x all by itself. So the first thing I need to do is move my constant to the other side by subtracting 10. So again, the opposite of adding 10 is subtracting 10. So we need to do the same thing on the other side of our operator. So this gets canceled out, and the negative 2x, I would bring it down. Our greater than sign, I would bring it down also, okay? Here we'll calculate 4 minus 10 is negative 6, okay? Now we would want to get rid of a multiply by dividing by negative 2, dividing by negative 2 on the other side, okay? Whenever you divide by a negative, this operator goes to the other direction, so again, whenever you're multiplying or dividing by a negative, okay? So we would have x is now going to be less than negative 6 divided by negative 2 is a positive 3, okay? So now we need to remember some things. Whenever we have a greater than or less than sign, when there's no line underneath, that means it's going to be an open circle. Whenever we have a greater than or equal to, or less than or equal to, that means it's going to be a closed circle, okay? So on my number line, I'm going to look for the number 3. So again, on my number line, I'm going to look for the number 3, which is right here in between 2 and 4, and I'm going to have what type of circle? An open circle because there's no line underneath. There's no or equal to. And this is like an arrow, and it's pointing to the direction that you're going, all right? So it's pointing to the left because it's saying that x is less than 3. All the numbers smaller than 3 are numbers like 2, 0, negative 1, numbers to the left, all right? So again, guys, just like that. You shade to the left. 